Hello everyone, so I will be talking about space policies and digital transformation of Mongolia. So during my presentation, um, we will, I will walk you through several things. The first one is um, Mongolia's space activities. Second one is digital transformation in Mongolia. And in the end of my presentation, I will be walking you to the further activities that the government of Mongolia is planning in the next few years. So Mongolia's space intervention really started in 1965, where Mongolia joined the program called Intercosmos. Intercosmos was a Soviet space development program, which brought all the space related um, uh, programs and experts and uh, professionals together in the uh, 1965. So in the 1970s, um, we started receiving satellite data from the station orbit. And 1981 was rather historical year for Mongolia because Mr. Gurarcha, the first astronaut of Mongolia and second astronaut of Asia to, uh, to travel to the space. So uh, we still worship very much this year. Next, um, in the 1990s, um, satellite activities became our main, main um, priorities in the communication. So we really started looking into it, starting to develop policies. 1998, VSAT program was, VSAT system was introduced. Um, 2006, APSCOS training, uh, MASTA and DOCSTA program started and Mongolia joined this program. So MASTA means master's program and DOCSTA means doctor's program. And we start to send our experts and young people to educated in this field. 2012, the government of Mongolia approved the national satellite project. Um, 2013 national cancer co competition started to get organized every year. 2018 um, uh, communication and information technology, which I'm representing today, we signed a um, memo with um, Center National Youths of French Republic. And last year, 2019, we signed an agreement between the government of Mongolia and government of Republic India on space development. So here we are. Um, also, I would like to show you some of the international cooperations that we have been um, doing with uh, various international organizations. Um, so w the government of Mongolia is planning several activities regarding space development. The first one is to pass national space legislation in Mongolia. As I mentioned, we joined many international agreements. Um, second one is threatening international cooperation and human resource capacity. So as I emphasized before, uh, Mongolia has had very good uh, cooperations with other international organizations. So in the next few years, what we will be focusing on is um, educating our young people in space field and collaborating, cooperating regarding human resource. The third one is support public-private partnership in this field, of course. Um, so, also, we would like to ask for other organizations to join in um, for developing the um, space field, space development. So, um, private organizations and NGOs will be the heart of space activities in Mongolia. Today, we have about 200 um, space-related entities, and I have to say that Marsfi is one of the biggest projects that we have had so far. Um, the innovation and entrepreneurship initiative in the space field, the government will be supporting these initiatives and B2B model in the space activities. Also, regarding citizens, citizens will become digital citizens and learn more about space exploration. So I think this is very, very exciting um, thing for our citizens and especially young people. Thank you so much for your attention. Mars and Earth, 
International Digital Conference, Mars V.